which is seven months away. You don't love me! I do love you, son, and I will always love and accept you for who you are your entire life. I don't know what that means. It means you're not getting a new bike until your birthday. Darn it! Hi, Mr. Tess. Would you like to buy some Ladybird Scout cookies? No, because I believe the Ladybird Scouts have lost their way and have become nothing but a door-to-door -door cookie company using free labor. And although I like you, sissy, I can no longer buy these cookies. Your dad is weird. Yeah, I know. You look dumb. Do you want to buy some cookies, Test? Oh, wow, Ladybird Scout cookies. They look so good and... No. Ow! I mean, give me a box of Wow Wow Chocolate Chunkies. Ow! Coconut dribblers? Hmm. Lemon buckwalt? <laughs> Butterscotch blah blahs? Yes! Only 999 bucks! To go for what? When you sell Ladybird Scout cookies, you can win prizes like backpacks, pen sets, and if you sell a thousand boxes, you get a new bike. <coughs> Stop. <coughs> Sit. Good boy. <coughs> what do you want this time, little brother? A larynx transplant so you can sing like a rock star? Or a DNA adjustment that will make your tongue taste like bubble gum? No, we need your old Ladybird Scout uniforms. That's a new one. Now all we gotta do is sell 1,000 boxes of this crud and zoom, we're in brand new Bike City. And here comes our first customer. <laughs> What's a scam? I need a new bike, and you're gonna help me by buying cookies. Cat, I'm currently on a strict get a hot bod regimen. You see, I wanna look good for your sister. But look, Banana Dennis, you can't resist. Oh. No, I'm a healthy person who shuns sweets and worships sweating. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Selling cookies for the Ladybird Scouts, which I am a proud member. But you're a boy. Which means you should not forget the Ladybird Scout creed of accepting all recruits regardless of race, creed, and because of some kid in 1992, boyness. What? This town isn't big enough for the both of us, Test. And there's no way you're outselling me. Ugh. Okay, let's go find some cookie lovers and get that bike. Hi, would you like to buy some Ladybird Scout? Hi, my name is Johnette and... Get out of my face! Let me just say... I hate being... But they do awesome stuff, Johnny, like raise environmental awareness and organize park cleanups. And get me a bike if I could only sell these dumb cookies! Oh, I will take ten boxes. I can't resist such a cute and charming young ladybird scout. <gasps> hey, I'm cute and charming and... Whoa! Now go to your quiet place. We need to borrow your makeup and hair care products and ooh, I like this color. 
Mm. How do I look? Susan Test! You cannot resist the new slimmer bling bling boy! You look the same. What? No way! I've been sweating all day for you, my sweet Susan. Hey, watch with the T-Rex. I'll show you. Sick him, Wentworth. <laughs> And we're gorgeous. Yeah. Weird day. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm gorgeous, I know. Wait here. Will you go out with me and my dog? Ew. Okay, this plan is clearly backfired. Run! No! Ride! You can't escape our love dream, girls! We will find you! <sighs> I think we lost him in the almost empty wagon! I just have 27 more boxes to sell, and that sweet bike is mine! Ha! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Hey, did you know the Ladybird Scouts were formed to teach girls empowerment and leadership? Just skip to the part where it tells you how to sell these super extra lame cookies! Jonathan! Check out my plan B. I hired Gil to be my personal hot bod coach. Johnny, you're different, bro. Did you get a haircut or something? I'm a girl. <laughs> no, that's not it. Yeah, Gil is gonna mold me in his hot image. Oh, and I see you still haven't sold a box of cookies. I know that! I'll buy a box, Johnny. I hate those cookies, but I love you, bro -ham. Later's Johnny, whose new look I still can't figure out. Wait, that's it. The secret of selling this crud is not to people who love cookies. It's to sell cookies to people who love you. Quick, we need some cool cookie selling music. Huh? Nah, too rock and rolly. Something light and peppy. Right, my bad. Perfect. Johnny Test, is that you behind that earthly female disguise? I'm selling Ladybird Scout cookies to get a new bike. Well, forget it! Thanks to you, I'm trapped on this wretched planet, light years from my real home. And worse, I don't have doom troopers to take this world over. And... Blah, 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 I'm not selling to you. I want Jillian. I'll buy some cookies, Johnny. Give me five boxes of Labradoodles. Thanks! Wait! Are those organic salmon chucklucks? Made with zero animal products. Give me ten boxes. But I will destroy you someday! Quick! How many more boxes do we have to sell to get that bike? The 35, 36, 37! And how many people are left in town that love me? Uh, nobody. Everybody else pretty much hates you. Darn it! I only have one box to sell, and that bike is mine! But there's nobody left in town to sell to. But that means there's nobody left for you either, so ha! Wrong again. I just have to get somebody to change his mind about the wonderment of Ladybird Scout cookies, and I know how. Why are you a Ladybird Scout, son? Well, at first I did it to sell cookies to win a bike, but now I think I really like it. And I like makeup and skirts and feeling pretty. You don't say. Is there a problem with that? You said you'd love me and accept me no matter what, right? I did, Johnny, and I do. I love you just the way you are. I'll take off the skirt and makeup if you buy 37 boxes of shortbread. I don't care. Who do I make the checkout to? Awesome! But I just have to keep this stuff on until I hand in my sales sheet to get my bike. As long as you're wearing pants by dinner. Yes! We're getting a new bike! Oh, and look who still can't sell her last box. I guess you don't have what it takes to sell cookies, sissy. You mean selfishness? Say what? I was trying to sell a thousand boxes so I could donate the bike to a program that gives bikes to kids that don't have them. That's what a true Ladybird Scout would do. Okay, if you're trying to make me feel low, it worked. You were never a true Ladybird Scout, Johnny Test. And why can't I sell this last box? Whoa! <laughs> okay. 
how much weight have I lost? Scale! Scale! Awesome! You lost half a pound! A half pound? I changed my mind! I'm a round person who suns exercise and worships caramel yum yum dum dums! <laughs> yes! I sold the last box! Oh, that is good! You see, these are so hard to come by where I live, you know? Wait, are you saying Ladybird Scouts never knocked on your door? Um, hello? I live on an evil island 30 miles off the coast with a live fake volcano and a voracious and terrifying mother. What Ladybird Scout would be brave enough to sell cookies there? And here you go, Johnny Test. Cookie time! You know, you're an okay boy, Test. And maybe even a better Ladybird Scout. I have to admit, it does feel really good. You mean helping kids get bikes who never had them? That and the skirt. I feel so free. We are looking for a fossil or skeletal artifact from pre-Cambrian times. <sighs> Professor, it's 110 degrees out. I think this project will be better off postponed to after graduation in three years. We will all stay here as long as it takes and come back tomorrow if necessary. Now keep digging. <sighs> Can't go back to desert. So hot. And tired. That's why we're going back in time, finding a three-toed sloth bone, then plant it tomorrow in the desert, pretend to discover it. Then we can all go back to our air-conditioned classroom and not sweat and die in the heat! We're such geniuses. <laughs> okay, let's find that bone and... Johnny get the bone for us. Okay, in exchange for one three-toed sloth bone, you two will do my client's math homework for three weeks, he gets use of the submarine base, and 25 wads of bubble gum. What? That is highway robbery! Dookie, what's the weather forecast in the desert tomorrow? Well, mostly sunny, a high of 115 degrees with a 20% chance of death. It's a deal. Great! But I still can't go. What? I just remembered. I'm grounded. What did you do this time? Nothing. Dad totally overreacted. How much for these golf clubs, this lawnmower barely used, and this platinum wedding band? You do realize you're insane. Hey, if he wants his ring so bad, don't leave it by the sink, right? We'll take care of Dad. After all, it's time travel. If we get in trouble, we'll just go back in time to before we got caught. Works for me, so let's do this. Get in here. No way! It's time travel, Johnny. And worse, it's your sister's time travel machine. And something always goes wrong. So doggy, sit and stay. Nothing's gonna go wrong, you big baby. And Johnny Test will prove it. Now stand back and watch a pro go back in time and bring back a slop bone for my sisters. I'll take that bone and get out of here! <gasps> He's a club wielding babbling cave Johnny! Yeah, but he got the sloth bone! But Johnny's a caveman! Yeah, that is a problem. And Dad's gonna kill us for turning Johnny into a caveman. Then he's gonna kill Johnny for blowing off his grounding. Okay, everybody calm down. Mary, you stay here and try and figure out what created Cave Johnny. I'll stall Dad. And Dookie, don't let Cave Johnny out of your sight. Got it. Where did he go? Yeah! <laughs> huh? Man, it's bright in here. Too much light can be bad for you, Dad. Remember, I'm a genius. Uh, okay. <laughs> Come on, that's a good cave, Johnny. Let's go back 
inside. Ah! Uh, I mean, I just saw Johnny upstairs in his room, Dad. Grounded and not outside and not a caveman. Well, he acts like one sometimes, and that's why the only place he is going today is the dinner table. In fact, maybe I'll remind him again what a bad boy he was. Ah! I'll do it, Dad. You're way busy right now cooking uh, that thing. What is that? It is called a casserole. You and your sister are the only ones who experiment around here. Ha <laughs> that's funny, Dad. And when is dinner again? I want to warn Johnny to be right on time. In 30 minutes. We've got 30 minutes! And I've got Cave Johnny. I lured him with steak. And I figured out the problem. The sloth bone that Johnny brought back had caveman saliva on it. So when the tea house time machine crossed through the particle reconfiguration, it cross-contaminated Johnny's DNA and devolved him into a caveman. The blah, 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 blah. How do we get Johnny back? We just reversed the process by sending Johnny back with modern DNA contained in his chewing gum, then revolve him to his normal state before dinner. <laughs> dinner time machine is destroyed! Oh, by the way, when he finishes food, he likes to bash things. <laughs> the hot bod pod. Get the steak cake, Johnny! Get it! The hot bod pod will adjust Johnny's appearance so he'll look exactly like normal Johnny. Look, it's normal Johnny! Of course he looks normal, but mentally he's still a caveman. Yeah, so that was a great idea. You're so smart, you fix the situation. Ah, uh, why don't you both just stop using your brother as a guinea pig? <laughs> you wanna go, Fuzzball? <laughs> Wait. Where's Johnny? Ham. I'm definitely getting a ham smell, I think. Huh? Did you hear something? Well, just my stomach grumbling. I can't wait to eat dinner. It smells so... Much. Does it smell like ham? Because, you know, I've never cooked a casserole before. I'm a bit nervous. Uh, ham? Yeah, ham. Or diapers. Like a diaper with ham. I'll be in the yard if you need me. Uh, he clubbed me, then headed east. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny test. Bleh. Hey guys, let's egg test. <laughs> Did I say egg test? <laughs> what I meant to say was have a great day test and why don't you come over and play sometime? <laughs> okay, so call me. Hey test. I said hi test. What, you're not talking to me, is that it? Huh? Even if you don't like me, it doesn't mean you have to be rude. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Does that mean you like me? The bases are loaded, there are two outs, and the more belly hat box are down by three. It's gonna take a miracle to win this game. You're up! Pounded into the sidewalk. Sissy in love. T-shirts! Get your mystery baseball hero T-shirts! Johnny on a souvenir baseball shirt. He's got to be nearby. But where? And dinner's in five minutes! Well, aren't you doing a report on this stuff? And what do cavemen like? What is their migration patterns? You are a fraud! Did that dog just talk? No. And cavemen were hunters and gatherers who had a quest for... Fire! <laughs> Here, Cave Johnny, that's a good boy. Get the fire. Just get him upstairs, hope the time machine is fixed and have him back before. Dinner time! So, how do you feel after learning your lesson, son? <laughs> well, you'll feel a lot better after you try some of my casserole. What's going on? It's dinner time, and Dad just led Johnny to the kitchen, and it'll take another Johnny miracle to get out of this one. <sighs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. It's what I do for a living. 
I must say I like my well-behaved boy, and I hope you like my casserole thing that's not meatloaf. <laughs> well, why don't you try it first? Does it smell like ham? What's with the hockey masks? Dad, it's not what you think! I think he's having an allergic reaction to this horrible meal I prepared! I'm a failure! Yep, that's what it is! I knew I should stick to meatloaf! <laughs> I deserve that, and I'll make it up to you, son! I'll get some takeout. Who wants burgers? Burgers for everyone! Johnny has saved the day again! He's amazing, folks! Are you done? Uh, no. Can the test girls get Johnny back together and end this exciting episode? Easy. Just add one little brother and one wad of pre-chewed gum into the time machine and send them back in time. Three, two, one. Hmm. Um, uh, Johnny? <gasps> That's for not coming with me. I told you nothing bad was gonna happen. Yeah.